it's becoming increasingly clear that the combination of 5G and edge computing offers up real potential for new service creation and business opportunities that can benefit network operators and their customers alike. And to find out more about this topic, I'm talking today with Renu Navale, Vice President in the Data Platforms Group and General Manager of Smart Edge Platforms Division at Intel. So, Renu, there's this notion that 5G will be one of the most influential technologies at the edge. What is Intel's view on 5G being a strong catalyst for the edge? So, so thank you, Ray. And technology is increasingly becoming central to every aspect of our existence. And as the world is becoming more and more digital, there are four key technology, what I call superpowers. Um, there's cloud, there's the connectivity that's fueled by 5G, there's the pervasive artificial intelligence, and then there's also the intelligent edge. And collectively, these technology superpowers or catalysts are reshaping every aspect of our lives. Now, as 5G is extending its influence from the cloud to the network core, it's also extending in a very transformational way to the edge as well. And that's primarily because when we look at what is required at the edge, almost every edge demand can actually be satisfied by the technologies that 5G offers. In fact, it's a great example of how a technology inflection like 5G is helping create a market like edge computing or the edge market. When we look at all the use cases, as well as the business value or outcome that our customers, our end customers are looking for, all of that can be delivered at the edge but by using 5G as a technology. Um, in fact, some of the requirements such as low latency, um, high bandwidth, um, security, data lo locality, all of these can be provided at the edge by using 5G. So it's very clear that 5G and edge are inseparable from a strategic perspective for Intel. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about how these 5G capabilities are factored into what Intel builds for the edge? Absolutely. So as a key consideration for the ability to deploy edge platforms, especially for our enterprise customers, they want the complexity around 5G to be made highly simple. That's one. And then the second is they want to be able to customize their edge platforms to suit their own business needs. Now, to address this, Intel offers you know, an edge-ready product portfolio that includes both hardware as well as software. There's a number of feature-rich silicon products that we've built specifically for the edge, like our next generation Xeon D processors, uh, and that, that are sampling right now. So both our Intel Xeon as well as our Xeon D processors are being deployed not only across the network, but also at the edge as operators roll out 5G. In addition, we are offering you know, both open as well as commercial software that has been optimized for some of our 5G capabilities. We, we adhere to a number of the 3GPP as well as the XC Met standards in order to ensure that we are following through on providing a variety of different 5G capabilities in our software. Um, in addition to that, we are providing what we call pre-configured pre and pre-integrated solutions that our customers and partners can readily use in order to deploy various edge solutions or edge platforms. So with, with this comprehensive set of offerings, what we are able to provide is an ability for our developers, our ecosystem partners, as well as our customers to converge a variety of workloads, like not only networking and 5G workloads, but also AI and analytics workloads, as well as media and video workloads in order to be able to deploy a variety of different edge use cases that take advantage of 5G, 5G technology capabilities. And all of this is getting deployed at a variety of different vertical, um, uh, vertical sectors or vertical use cases, such as industrial, retail, smart city, 
um, as well as healthcare. Now, when it comes to 5G and Edge, we all know that service enablement is key. Uh, what is Intel doing to drive service acceleration and application development at the Edge? As much as hardware and silicon are at the core of our product strategies, our portfolio for the Edge clearly reflects a very holistic approach that we are taking with both hardware and software that's focused on service enablement from the cloud to the core to the edge. Our aim is to provide developer, developers with tools that makes it very easy for them to create software for a variety of different edge applications and services that can be onboarded and managed on our edge platforms that's based on Intel hardware and software. So not only do we want to make it easy for our customers to consume our software and rapidly deploy it, but we also want to make it very easy for our developers to create new types of edge applications and services. So from an edge perspective, software is really key to extending what we started out as NFV in the network core, and we've been extending that to the edge and more importantly, delivering cloud native capabilities at the edge. So cloud native is going to pave the way for 5G and it's really what forms the basis of our architectural foundation for our edge computing software. For the multi-access edge computing software layer, we have focused on not only the Mac capabilities or the 3GPP 5G and Etsy Mac uh, uh, capabilities or features that we need to offer. We've also focused on ensuring we are addressing the complexity that's involved with onboarding and managing various edge applications, services, as well as network functions on our edge platforms. So we have two software offerings that address this need. We have the Intel Smart Edge, which is a commercial software, and it's designed specifically for enterprise on-premise use cases, such as private networks and the universal CPE. So customers can license or buy the software, and they can rapidly deploy this to easily onboard and manage edge applications and network functions with cloud-like agility and across any type of underlying network infrastructure such as Wi-Fi, wired, 4G, or 5G private wireless. Uh, now, in addition, for ecosystem partners and customers who want to build their own MEC solution, we also have a royalty-free software, which we call Intel Smart Edge Open. This used to be called OpenNAS, but this Intel soft, uh, Smart Edge Open, it offers software development toolkits for our ecosystem partners, developers, and customers, such that they can build and deploy their own solutions for universal CPE, private wireless, as well as the network edge across access and near edge. And this enables our ecosystem partners and developers to build very highly optimized and performant edge solutions. Now, both of these offerings are addressing very diverse needs across our customer base, and, they're, and it provides the flexibility that they need in order to develop or deploy their solutions and to accelerate edge services deployment or development by achieving convergence across IT workloads, OT workloads, as well as communications technology or CT workloads. So these are all great developments, but what does this mean for real world deployments and use cases? Uh, Renny, can you talk about a few of the 5G use cases you see gaining momentum and that are set to become real world deployments soon? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I believe we're still at the tip of the iceberg as far as 5G use cases or edge deployments are concerned. But there have been a few use cases and deployments that have kind of risen up to the top in terms of either customer momentum or market need. One of the deep engagements that we have is actually with Smart City. And this space has lent itself very nicely to the coming together of edge computing, networking workloads, IoT workloads, as well as 5G and AI and analytics workloads. 
a leading European operator has been collaborating with Intel in the last few years to develop their edge computing capabilities. And they've optimized the use of our hardware as well as the management of services and they've based the solution on the Intel SmartEdge open software from Intel. By leveraging all of the capabilities that we are providing in Intel SmartEdge Open, they're able to act on data faster as well as provide service level management. Now with this uh, Intel SmartEdge Open, this operator is not only optimizing energy consumption, but they're also developing um, a green edge sustainable solution that they have implemented in our zero, zero emission site for rural areas. And this contribution has actually um, uh, you know, been converted into a deployment at their flagship project, which they call 5G Catalonia, in the city of Barcelona, where it will actually support a variety of smart city use cases. Another example is, you know, private wireless is, has kind of risen in a variety of different vertical sectors or vertical industries. So it's, it's starting to become a true game changer where, you know, again, we're seeing, we will see the power of 5G and edge computing coming together. Especially for some of the enterprises, it's becoming a lot more affordable as we are getting dedicated spectrum and it's providing all of the bandwidth and latency requirements that we need for edge computing. Now this momentum with 5G, it, it was actually has driven up our engagements for our Intel Smart Edge commercial software. So solutions that are using our Intel Smart Edge, they're in trials and deployments globally and in use cases that are ranging from retail shopping experiences to inventory management, as well as to industrial factory operations, sporting events, and several others. One such example of, the de of a deployment is our collaboration with the 5G Food Resiliency Project at Sonomish County, where the multi-access edge computing capabilities from Intel Smart Edge, um, that's you know delivered by this commercial Intel Smart Edge, uh, for a CBRS-based private network is enabling an edge computing platform for testing new applications, devices, as well as services. And it's been focused on yield improvement, labor efficiency, as well as resource utilization for the agricultural sector. So these are you know, great examples that we're seeing both from smart city as well as agriculture that's leveraging our Intel Smart Edge software, both our open software as well as our commercial software in a variety of different types of deployments. Again, this is at the tip of the iceberg and I think over the next you know, several months we will start to see a lot more deployments in a variety of different vertical sectors. Well, it's great to hear that the combination of 5G and edge computing is having a real impact on the industry. Renu, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.